In this episode, let's have a quick listen to three different camera top shotgun microphones, namely the Asden SMX30, the Rode VideoMic Pro, and the Ceramonic V-Mic. Camera top shotgun microphones have become extraordinarily popular. They're very convenient, they're fairly reasonably priced, and you can improve the quality of your audio quite nicely. Now, we've talked a lot about microphone placement with these microphones, and honestly, in this particular case, for example, I am using the Asden SMX30, which is boomed right above me, right here. Again, probably about 60 centimeters from my mouth. That's how you're going to get the best sound. Can you use them on top of the camera as well? Of course you can. They are going to pick up a lot more ambiance that way. Let's give you some audio comparisons of those three microphones, at least with my voice. <laughs> a biased sample, of course, but we'll do that with the mic placed up close like this. We'll also turn the high pass filter on and we'll talk about high pass filters a little bit more in a future episode. And then we'll also put them on top of the camera and let you compare how those sound. Full disclosure, all three of these microphones were provided to me at no charge from their respective manufacturers. I'm not being paid by any of these manufacturers to do these reviews, aside from them providing the free microphone. So first up, we have the Asden SMX30. This is a new microphone from Asden. It's kind of interesting. It is not only a mono shotgun style microphone, short shotgun, but it's also a stereo mic. So you can use it to sort of capture ambiance if you want to do that as well. So kind of a, a little bit more versatile. In this case, I'm recording with the gain level set to zero. Um, the options again on this are minus 10 or plus 20 or zero. This is kind of its unity gain, if you will, kind of the default setting. I have the input level set to minus 6 dB on the Panasonic GH4. The mic is mounted just here, just out of frame. Next up, we have the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is the version that was redesigned by Rode in 2015. It has a different shock mount and a new capsule. It's otherwise very similar to the original version. Um, very popular mic. There's a, <laughs> this is probably Rode's best-selling mic, from my understanding. And it's a very good choice in a lot of ways. So this is what that sounds like with the high-pass filter turned off with the gain set to 0 dB. This is the Ceremonic V mic, so you can hear what this sounds like in comparison. In this particular case, again, the gain is set to 0 dB and the high-pass filter is turned off. This is a microphone that we reviewed about three to four weeks ago. You can check that out if you're interested in the details. We are back to the Asden SMX30. In this particular case, again, gain is still set to zero. The difference in this case is we're using the high pass filter. High pass filters are something you would typically want to use when you want to avoid picking up any sort of interference that is either re really low frequency, like a hum from an air conditioner or forced air heating, something like that. Um, also, when you're out in the wind, slight breeze, it's not gonna handle <laughs> gusts of wind really well, but if you just have a slight breeze, it can also help in those circumstances. The trade-off is that you cut out some of the low frequency response. That is to say it's not going to ca capture as much of the bass in my voice. Here is the Rode VideoMic Pro with the high-pass filter turned on. Again, high-pass filter is something you might want to use when you're shooting outdoors when there could be a potential for a little bit of a breeze, or if you're trying to cut out any sort of low frequency humming type of noises like forced air heaters or air conditioners. This is the Ceramonic V-Mic, again with the gain set to 0 dB, but this time with the high-pass filter turned on. Again, high-pass filter, it's a trade-off. This is something you would normally use if you're trying to combat any sort of low-frequency hum noises, air conditioners, heaters, um, also if you're outdoors working in a slight breeze. Now, here we are doing the on-camera test. The camera is approximately 2 to 2.5 two meters from me right here. In this case, I have the Asden SMX30 on top of the camera. I have the gain level set to plus 20 dB on the microphone and plus six, sorry, minus six dB on the Panasonic GH4 for comparison. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. In this case, the camera is about two and a half meters from me. The microphone is on top of the camera. This is a, to give you a sense for how much room ambiance it picks up when you're operating in that sort of distance from the camera or from your talent. And this is the Ceramonic V-Mic on top of the camera. Again, the camera is two and a half meters from me. This will give you a sense for what this sounds like right on top of the mic. Again, the gain is set to plus 20 dB on the microphone and to minus 6 dB on the camera, the Panasonic GH4. Which of these microphones should you buy? Well, that's entirely up to you. Let me first say this. For those of you that are going to leave a comment or are tempted to leave a comment that says, I can't tell any difference between them. They all sound the same to me. That could well be if you're playing them back on inexpensive speakers or a inexpensive set of headphones or earbuds, 
yeah, you may not hear any difference whatsoever. And if you believe that your audience is not going to notice a difference because they will be playing back on the same equipment, buy whichever one suits your fancy and has the features you want and move on with your life and make some cool stuff. But if audio quality is a top priority for you, you've heard them. So you can make the, that choice for yourself. Here are a couple of thoughts that I have. First of all, the Rode VideoMic Pro is a classic. It has a very rich sound to it, a very uh, prominent sort of low frequency pickup in, a, in relation to the other two and in particular to the Ceremonic. Um, that's a great sound if you want that sound. Is it the most natural sound? No, but it's a pretty flattering sound, especially for men's voices. One very cool thing about the Asden is that it also includes a stereo mic. So not only do you have the mono shotgun microphone for dialogue, you also have a stereo mic that can be very useful if you're trying to pick up ambiance. So if you're shooting outdoors and maybe you want to pick up um, you know, the sounds of the birds chirping or whatever the environment may have in store for that particular shoot, you can do that. That makes it a very versatile mic. Price, of course, is also a differentiator between these three mics. Go ahead and check the current prices down below. We have links to all three of them. And there you go. There are some thoughts and some examples with those three shotgun microphones. I hope that's helpful for you. Go ahead and leave any questions you have down below. Also, we have not done a full review on the Asden. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and leave a comment along those lines down below. Thanks for checking out this episode. If you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that, and we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Thank you.